It's Python on Homer time. Yeah, Blinka. Okay, so if you have not already, please, please, please go to adafruitdaily.com and sign up for the newsletter. It's adafruitdaily.com. We have a completely separate site because we never want anyone to think that we will send you a newsletter from Adafruit unless it has something you signed up for or something that you wanted regarding a product. So we did a separate site and that gets delivered to your inbox every single week. Um, we also have it on the web. And this week you can check out the Python developer survey, see what people in the world of Python are doing. Python 3.1.1 is um, faster. So I think we might see some speed improvements across all Python things uh, coming up. Some news in the world of the Python Software Foundation. They are adding some more people. Um, we added a link. This is kind of interesting just because of the chip shortage. Google is doing some chip development stuff, uh, specifically in the world of open source hardware. At least they're saying so. Um, Make did a review of our Feather RP2040. Check that out. And then all the normal news, projects, and more that goes on and on forever. Lots of keyboard projects. Again, I think a lot of people are doing um, different types of input for their computers so they can kind of customize their experience because they're doing so many different things. In CircuitPython news, um, this is kind of the big deal uh, for us uh, right now. So uh, PyLeap is out. 2.0. And the neat thing about this is you uh, start the app, it pairs with either Clue or with Bluefruit Express, and you're instantly able to look at the projects. And within one finger tap, the code is already on there. And now we support Clue. So each guide will say if it's compatible with which board, and it's the fastest, easiest way without a computer to get code onto a device. It's powerful, it's, 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 it's like when you first started using CircuitPython and you're like, well, I could just drag and drop a file onto the microcontroller. So this is like that, but for wireless, it's, it's very fast. Designed to make it a no code, easy solution for especially people who want, or beginners, they just want to get started and they want to do mobile programming. PyLeap's a good start. Yeah, okay. Um, and that's Python on Hardware News this week. Okay.